Hi, this is Shadi and today I need to have a talk with the judo white belts. Now, especially if you're an adult, I know it's not going to be easy coming in a grown man or woman wearing your white belt and you have people that are a lot younger than you, that they are blue, brown and even black belts. It's not going to be easy, but if you are get comfortable in your gym or your dojo and the people are nice to you, that's all that matters. Do not feel disencouraged because there are a lot of people that are younger and you know more advanced. That's normal and trust me, you will catch up with them. So that's first thing. The second thing I need you to focus on is your mindset. Your mindset is very important. I'm not going to tell you how to do a technique or this or that because I'm not qualified and that's for your teacher to do that, not me. And I will give you, however, some pointers for your mindset that will allow you to progress. First, keep saying to yourself, I know nothing. When you say, I know nothing, you will always be hungry to learn more and you will stay in check and you will always feel like there is a lot to learn and it will always keep this game or art or discipline very exciting because there's so much unknown yet. Because when you stop thinking this way, you're going to become, you know, I want to beat a higher belt or whatever. And please do not do that. Please do not think of beating a higher belt because every person is different, you know. I tapped a blue belt once, but yesterday I got mauled by a blue belt. Everyone is different. And in judo, I beat a brown belt, but a blue belt came and threw me like I was a sack of potatoes. You know, everyone is different. Don't think like I beat a higher belt, that means I'm good or better. Please do not think this way because when you beat, for example, one or two or three higher belts, you start to think, why am I not being promoted yet? Or, uh, uh, I deserve better, I know now more, or you're gonna get comfortable way too soon, you're gonna get arrogant way too soon, and it will hinder your progress. Please do not do this. The longer you say, I know nothing, even when you reach black belt, keep saying, I know nothing. You know, Michelangelo, he was 87 years old, and he said, I still have a lot to learn. And he did the Sistine Chapel. Please. Don't think of beating higher belts or whatever because your ego will be bruised very easily, you will become not modest and it will, it will make you focus on the wrong things, on others instead of yourself. Please do not do this and it will make your relationship with your friends at the dojo complicated and bad for no reason. Please do not think of tapping or beating higher belts we all get caught in it and i have i did this and i'm guilty of this myself but through hard lesson i had to let it go it's normal but please i'm telling you now you know nothing and you should always keep that in mind number two as a beginner you're gonna be very curious and looking throughout the internet for youtube videos uh, instructional videos on applications etc there are tons of masters that are doing, you know, a technique very quickly and you want to imitate them in order to progress quickly. And I understand that and I did that. For example, Joshiro Maruyama and Kosei Inoue's Uchimata. They do it with one step and it's very beautiful and it's amazing. But I tried to do that for a whole year just looking at them, you know, again and again and again. And my Uchimata did not get any better. And I started to feel unmotivated and discouraged, like I'm not talented enough, I'm not good at judo, this is not for me, I should be doing better, why am I not progressing, this is just one technique, why am I doing it so badly? Why have I not learned it yet, in a little over a year now? But when I went and saw basic videos for Uchimata, you know, step one, two, three, Guess what? My Uchimata became effortless almost instantly. So, my advice is when you are looking at videos, look at the basic instructions for any technique you want to, you know, learn or master. 
don't look at the very high level people doing it in competitions because you will not get a clear picture. There are tons of videos that I feel like I understood them very well but when I get back to them I feel like oh I missed this, I missed that, I didn't pay attention to this. When you are a beginner you're gonna be very short sighted and you won't even notice it and that's what's bad about it. That's why when you are looking at videos for techniques always always look at videos that say the you know, basics for this technique or how to do this for beginners because that's the stuff that will help you not the advanced the advanced it will just make it more complicated and it again hinder your performance and you're gonna be you know spinning in a circle and not going forward always look at basics and basic technique videos and tutorials and number three always be friendly when you are sparring or drilling you know don't don't be shy don't be uh, don't have an attitude like i said you are an adult or you know someone a young adult or maybe an old adult uh, you want to make an impression i understand that but don't make it through an attitude or you know through how do i say this you know through having a tough character do not do that always be friendly always talk to people like you are their age um, don't you know don't be mean or try to joke in a way that will easily cross the line and now i've never done this but i see people doing this do not do this and you know because make everyone want to you know train with you and learn with you and the more you have training partners the more you will progress so Everything from attitude, you know, politeness, etiquette, the way you approach technique as a beginner, all of this will result in good and better judo and a better person overall. Like I said, you know nothing. Don't get caught up in higher belts and how to beat them. And always look at basic videos, whether you're a white yellow or orange belt and in jiu-jitsu if you're a white belt always look for the basics as well don't get caught up in you know beating someone or tapping a higher belt i will be addressing jiu-jitsu in a different video because jiu-jitsu has different aspects to it but in judo please throwing or you know techniques always focus on kuzushi you know the getting someone off balance Tsukuri or position, well positioned feet and body and kake the execution. Don't try to do the technique just one step because it will not happen. You're not there yet. All of this I'm telling you from my own experience and I hindered my own progress because I got too cocky, too comfortable and too arrogant way too soon. Um, I understand that you know coming in a dojo as an adult wearing a white belt you know there are kids and teenagers and young adults that are brown and black belts I understand that it's not easy but don't try to make impression on them you know or try to you know beat them and just to make yourself feel better because that's not gonna do anything and I know it's not easy like I said you know starting new and always being a beginner it's not easy but being a beginner is the best thing in the world. It means that you have so much to learn yet. It's a new chapter in your life. We will always be beginners. And when you're always a beginner, you will always stay hungry in this life in general, not just in your dojo. Because, you know, when you're always hungry, there's a tomorrow. And I know people that struggle with mental illnesses and mental troubles that when they feel like they don't have a tomorrow or you know, they don't have anything more to learn or set their eyes on, they will, you know, sadly either contemplate suicide or even commit it. Please, always keep in mind that you are a beginner, learn the basics, master them and hone them. Look at Hicks and Gracie and Chrome Gracie. They work basic guard and basic techniques like the armbar and the triangle and yet they are masters because they hone the basics. Do this as a beginner and that's what you should be doing and take them to mastery like I said be a beginner you know nothing 
be nice, always smile and always be willing to learn. This was Shadi and thank you for listening.